Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. Now we want to continue talking about the moment of a force, but we want to extend ourselves to talking about what happens when the force is not already perpendicular to the moment arm. So in the wrench example, usually you push a wrench, you know, if it's, if it's oriented like this, usually you push a wrench up or down because you want that force to be perpendicular. But what if you're a goofball and start angling your arm in a weird angle? How do you calculate the moment in that situation? Well, let's draw a picture of that. And let's draw kind of an interesting, uh, interesting case. So let me draw my classic example of a badly drawn nut, and then I'll follow it up with a badly drawn wrench. So we'll do something like this, and something like this. Maybe you guys can send me emails telling me how to draw wrenches. I know I'm not very good at that. Okay, so here's a wrench. Anyway, looks pretty <laughs> awesome actually. Okay, so there is a, uh, a wrench here and there is an axis, O, about which this thing's gonna rotate, and you can kind of envision this guy um, having a distance D that we've been talking about all this time. Now typically when you're gonna do this guy, you're gonna grab the end as far away as you can. By the way, why do you grab the end of the wrench as far as you can? Because the moment's bigger, right? Because it's F times D. If you make D bigger by grabbing at the end, you get more of a moment, more of a turning force, more power if you wanna talk of it that way, that way, but really it's a larger moment. That's why very, very long wrenches can really help you with those stubborn bolts. Anyway, um, what if I'm really not doing a very good job today and for some reason I do not grab it and I do not push up and down? What if I grab the end of it, but I push directly into the end of it like this? So in other words, I direct my force like this, okay? Um, and of course, you can always say that there's a line of action here. Here's a line of action that goes along this force, okay? Now you see what's happening. The line of action, in this case, of the force actually intersects the um, axis of rotation. But if I actually grab that wrench and if I just basically push, then I'm gonna get no rotation at all, zero rotation. And why is that? Because I told you before that when we calculate the moment, it's really only the perpendicular component or the perpendicular force along that, or the acting on that moment arm that actually generates the moment, okay? So um, basically, the way you calculate that is the moment about point zero, or about point O, is equal to FD, we said that. Now, if you don't know anything about moments, you say, okay, F times D, boom, that's the moment. But it's only the perpendicular part of F that actually contributes anything. So in this case, there's no perpendicular component at all because all of it is parallel and runs straight into the axis there. So essentially, the force that you put in here is the perpendicular part of the force, so you get zero times D, so you get zero, so you have no moment. Which basically means that you